Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Wasteland 3. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as we kill the Irvs. They, 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 they were very, very powerful, uh, and uh, I'm sure I could have done things a little bit better than I, I did, but, uh, but they died, and uh, that's what counts. Do we have grenades that are, that I haven't used? We have Molotov cocktails. Let's go ahead and do that, because do they get repl I think they do get replenished automatically. That's kind of good. That's kind of good. Okay, so Lucia doesn't have pens, but it's fine. So, um, last episode, we fought what is likely the, the toughest battle that we fought up until now. Um, the Irvs. And Jennifer went down because I couldn't move her. I had to sacrifice her a little bit. Uh, and now she's going to need to see a doctor. A uh, She has a shattered, shattered soldier. Now, who is the doctor here? Also, we leveled up, which is fantastic. We might actually be able to upgrade our repair so we can get into the other door. Uh, she is the doctor. Mm, wait a minute. Is doctor a different thing than first aid? Because uh, in real life it is. It is not for her, though. So, all that she needs to do is... She, well, med hypo for sure. But she also has a suture, shoot, suture kit. Injury kit. Wait a minute. Oh, I can see from in there. It is an injury kit. There's a kid crying in the background. Um, and I'm not going to shy away... Ooh, medic pack. Oh, yeah. She definitely needs that. Oh, but not right now. I'm not going to shy away from using the injury kits right now. Uh, because it's earlier in the game. And also because that mission was, uh, was really tricky. So use it on yourself. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, that mission was really, really tricky. And so... We have medic kits. So these can only be... Is that the case? No, they restore... Yeah, they fully restore you. Yeah, 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 yeah. These are really powerful. Why don't you want to use them? Because they require first aid? Huh. The amount healed increases with first aid skill. On success applies medic pack. I think that is because of the medic pack stat. Because then she can't be... Medic packed again. Is that how it is? No, no. It's just the fact that she's healing over time. So let's also apply that to Danny, who was Ready very, very important in that fight. Because he gave us a lot of action points right at the beginning. Uh, and we have a lot of gore in here, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Ready to continue. Oh, yeah. That was, that was pretty good. Uh, so I'm going to keep her with that. Uh, I think this game benefits you if you have... Um, more than one person with first aid. So, let's see. Intelligence, charisma, speed. Speed is not a bad thing to have, honestly, because combat speed is slow as hell for me. But I honestly probably will benefit from extra action points. Uh, status, resistance, effects. We have also awareness. I'm going to go with... I'm, I'm going to max out awareness. Uh, yes, I want to do that. Oh, my God. Okay. Mechanics level 5. We're going to do it. We're going to do it right now. We're going to do it, but not... Not right now. In in after we explore the room, <laughs> so I'm very indecisive there. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, speed for her wouldn't be a bad thing at all. Strength would also be interesting because she's a tank for right now. Um, although, coordinate. What is the evasion thing? Perception. Speed is the evasion. Okay. Well, speed it is for her. And as for skills, I can wait a little bit. We don't need to worry about that. For perks, however, we might want to consider bringing our first aid up to level 5 or something. Using healing items also boosts the target's constitution. No, for three turns, so that sucks in general. Uh, she also has a terrorizer. Flamethrower attacks engulf targets or reducing the other to hit chance by um, 15%. Or actually, f it says by minus 15%, which might mean that it is percentile points. Because if you read it literally, it's reducing it by a negative, so it's adding. So it doesn't make sense. Uh, so it is percentile points, most likely. So they, if they have 30% to hit chance, then now they have 15%, which means it's a reduction of 50% rather than 15 Anyway, uh, you know what I mean. It's, it's complicated. Uh, we also have... Some, mm, that doesn't matter as much. The armor plus two for her is just really not that important. Uh, the healthy might be important. The evasion is where it's at. 5%. Yeah, I'm going to go with that, actually. Um, oh, perk points zero? What? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I was considering so many things, and I didn't didn't need to. Um, an easy way to tell if you've leveled up or not is if you have attribute points, because you get one of those every time. 
uh, you know, of course, Anna now leveled up. She is the smartest, and uh, she is going to get maybe coordination for extra action points. Wouldn't wouldn't mind that at all. Let's look at our... No. What? Right, right. The other one. Uh, extra small arms, extra explosives. So I'm keeping this because we, we don't know what we're going to need. If I just bring her explosives up and all of a sudden you need nerd stuff, uh, then then, man, you need to confirm everything, then it's a bad thing, so, did I, did anybody else level up, no, not really, okay, pressing escape takes us to that screen, and I'm very sorry for that, let's see what we have, scientist outfit, equally useful in laboratories, and laboratory-based pornography, that I, yes, uh, appearance unlocked scientist outfit, thank you, I, I, that is, I didn't even consider any of that. Uh, we have another pearl, pulse gun. Uh, we have uh, some, oh yeah, that's what they were shooting us with. Uh, some energy cells, which is also pretty important. A focusing crystal, which is, is just junk. Uh, and that's that, really. Major Tom is alive. Can't believe. That was actually part of my uh, um, strategizing, was trying not to get Major Tom killed, because I, I, I wanted to destroy that. But Major Tom is a tough little cookie. So... A lore book over here, The Clown's Guide to Paints, Makeup, and Acid. And an old anchor chief. Everything else is good. A lot of grenades in there. Almost as if the game really wanted us to use grenades for this fight. And yes, we should have. And we did. Uh, let's see what this says. Chapter 5, Making Clown Paints. So kids, you have your clown outfit, your clown horn, and clown nose already. Great. That's all ready? Rather than already, mind you. So now it's time to make your very own clown makeup. Wow. That's right. You're making your paints yourself. In the next chapter, we'll discuss how you can use them to paint your face. Note, do not attempt without supervision of your parents or legal guardian. Clowns Incorporated cannot be held responsible for any paint-related accidents. Without a period at the end, I note. Anyway, there are four basic colors that uh, we'll want to make. A brilliant light blue, a beautiful indigo, a beautiful crimson, quote, allura, unquote, red, and a subtle light green to finish things off. Ble mm. Yeah, I think it's more or less what it is. Please refer to the mixes below. Light blue. Uh, yeah, that's how paints are made. A lot of carbon, though. It's interesting. I think it's to absorb the pigments. Hydrogen and nitrogen and... What? Is that water or something? Like, this is science things. Sulfide. What sulfide? Any sulfide? Or is sulfide just a short, wor uh, short uh, nickname for something that you just know? Is there a secret code in here or something? Like C-H-N-S-O-S? -S? I don't know. It doesn't look like real life paint things. There's a lot of smoke in here. Did you notice? So there, oh, maybe it was the the menu that adds smoke. I don't know. Uh, we have uh, Turn Your Jan Into a Marsha. That, that's uh, a book. And uh, some ammunition. Medical crates. A safe that requires lockpicking, and I have lockpicking. Oh man, lockpicking is being useful in this in this game. Wait, I have six. Oh yeah, I do have six lockpicking. We have a semi-automatic pistol, the M1911. Uh, this pre-war design is a favorite of collectors, and John Wasofens. Is that? I have never seen that written. What? Are they referencing the real life? John Wiseau that made that movie that is terrible? Apparently, he, I'm sure he made other movies that are terrible as well. But, and it, it, I don't know what that reference is. That seems, that seems a little bit on the nose for a game like Wasteland. What? It's a, it's a bit, you know, a little bit too 21st century. What is this? And I disabled that turret. That's what we could have done instead of... Well, actually, it was definitely possible to do it without um, ammo. What is this? The readouts and graphics have flatlined now that the clones are dead. Given specialized knowledge and the right resources, it might be possible to make more. This is indeed a clone machine. And that's what was making noise. A nitrogen tank over here. I don't know what is making noise, but we're going to learn about that just n soon enough, maybe? On the desk, you find a chaotic mess of ancient dot matrix printouts. Uh... Is that what they're called? That's the, like the old comic books. I didn't know that th those were the dot matrixes. 
Hmm. Yeah, that's the comic books that have little dots. Um, scientific journals and dog-eared books. Notes are scrawled upon them in a wild, childish hand. A computer awaits a press a button press. The computer pauses a moment as the display reads or relays information about a sensor and then returns subject absence from secondary sensor. Oh. I don't know what we're getting ourselves into, but we're getting ourselves into it. Um, we'll see ya and Jennifer. Also, there's an ammo box over there. Let's, let's see what that ammo box is before we mess with... Things that are going to potentially scar us for life. Okay, we're good. Let's see what this printout thingy, thingy, thingy. I feel a little green. They feel something? Oh, anyway, the computer analyzes both sensors as large volumes of data fill the screen. A small thermal printer begins to spew out reams of information laid in paper. A thermal printer is a... Uh, those little things that you see on shops, the G -g 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 I don't know if they they're still they're they're everywhere in the world still, but they are here in Portugal sometimes, and it's it's called thermal printer because the paper is specially made so that the it heat uh, it heats and prints things with that. The text is thick with what? The text is thick with mind. No, I, I don't think that was supposed to be there. The, th the text is thick with mind-numbing scientific jargon, charts, graphs, cryptic electrical and anatomical diagrams, and some printouts reference books and notes on the table. The titles of the textbooks stand out. Cloning in Our Time, Dream or Reality, Robotics, Cybernetics, and Cloning. Without a coma there, I note. The Future is Now, Cloning Theory and Practice, Life Everlasting, Business pros Prospectus? A new you, exclamation mark. The list continues, but one component remains the same. The name on every title page. Professor Irwin... Oh, that's where Irv comes from. Irwin John Finster, PhD. Every ranger knows the name of Irwin John Finster. Finster? I think so. I don't remember exactly. I guess the game is going to tell us. The director of the infamous Project Darwin and an old enemy of the Desert Rangers. It's probably from the original game. Rosie's tenant, Irv, has some explaining to do. Wait, no, no he doesn't, he's dead. As far as I can tell, anyway. Did he not transform himself, himself into clones or something? Like, biomass separated? Because they were tough as nails. Um, oh, yeah, I'm gonna want to pay attention to the pistol that I have. So you have, oh, you already have an uh, M1911. Yeah, this one, it's pretty good. Uh, the ammo is an interesting thing, because it, that, how much ammo does Lucia have? Nah, she has plenty. She's not going to fire a hundred bullets throughout the whole game, uh, let alone use up that ammo. Um, so, I, I don't think, anyway. So, what happened to you? You have the stink. Minus evasion. Jennifer has a third eye. Hidden kitten. This kitten's got claws. I think that's because the Tom Major Tomcat is following her. Now you know what it means when they say someone's got eyes on the back of their head. And she has one. That increases critical chance. Can only be removed by n no, no glow or doctor NPC. Why would you want to do that? I don't want to... By antidote or doctor NPC. That The stink is a bit of an issue, though. Uh, but that was for Lucia, so it's not... Yeah, that was a pretty good experiment. I like that. So you can transfer evasion from one character to the other. Or rather, you can transfer evasion into critical chance. I think the, the effects might be randomized. Um, that's an interesting thing. And uh, we're out of here, because... What? What? What do you mean, Jin Jin Jin? Did I know... Did I notice anything? I don't know. We're not gonna think too much about that. Kitty's all over. Man, that, that that is a purr and a half. Okay, so we're definitely gonna need um, the repairs or the mechanics. And this is good because it allows me to use certain mechanical items that I honestly wasn't expecting to use. So mechanics level five, say confirm and uh, click over there. Is that a... That is a robot chicken. Uh, chicken. Hello. 
with uh, while sickly and starved looking, the chicken is also unexpectedly spry. For some reason, half of its head is shelled in metal, and cybernetic parts are implanted in its body. Cluck? <coughs> right. You are eyeballed with considerable distrust. It then pecks at the ground near your feet, clucking and wheezing to itself. Right. Um, we don't have Animal Whisperer, so we're not going to be able to do that. Um, but I'm sure a different playthrough would, would allow for something like that. We have some armor over here, some really good armor and pants that maybe Lucia is going to be able to wear, although I doubt it, because I don't think she has that much strength. No, she doesn't have that much strength. I uh, might be able to give the pants to somebody that does have the strength, although it's not looking likely. No. Do you have the... Bad pens? Yours is for extra combat speed, so, yeah. No, no. Wear that. Good. And, uh, that means Lucia. Yep, she can wear that for a little bit of extra combat speed. It's not too bad. And hit chance is increased over here as well. Wait. No, no. Hit chance is, uh, hit chance is decreased. It's a different thing. Uh, Rat Tech Armor. Yeah, much better than this. It looks kind of cool as well. And I think everybody else is good to go, except for the helmet. The helmet is really a, a terrible, terrible thing. Because it's just plus one armor, and it doesn't increase your critical chance, and it requires strength. That helmet sucks. That's what that is. But it was good loot that we got. I'll see. Do I see that? No, I don't. Uh, it was good loot that we got by increasing our mechanics. And we're going to need to have mechanics anyway. Let's have a chat with Rosie. So, what'd you find in apartment three? Was he making bombs, like I said? Mm, I, he wasn't there, and it's weirder than that. Weirder how? Well, your tenant may be associated with the dangerous scientists. It, he also has a cloning machine, and we killed several copies of him. Yeah, you were right. That's weirder than making bombs. Can I at least go in and clean up? Well, it's not safe in there. Please stay out until we find him. Oh, his security deposit's not gonna cover the repairs, is it? If he wasn't in his apartment, then he's probably at the bookshop in Market Square. Look for a skinny guy, always wearing a lab coat. Let me know what happens. I will. Don't worry about it. I have been playing RPGs long enough to know that you should come back to the person who gave you the quest. The Market Square, though. Everything is the... No. Is there a market square down here? <clears throat> we got songs. There's somebody coughing. I think that was me. Uh, that was my team. Oh, no. We got also this sound of terribleness. The market square is not that far away, actually. So that's good news. Pressing shift still chugs the game, I think. Yeah, they haven't patched it. I, I didn't know. Didn't notice any I'll join new markets. patch. They do like roughing people up. You get drummed out in a second, you crackpot. I'm sure they could use my help. I even got my own blackjack. Is a blackjack like a nunchuck? I think it might be. Traveling bo busker over there, singing very nicely, but unfortunately. You ever noticed that? Uh, nope. That's kind of creepy. Yeah, always watching when I'm shopping. And walking home and sleeping. Those eyes keep following. Um, are you okay? <laughs> I don't know what she noticed. Uh, 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 hi. Do you have any books on cloning? On what? Clowning? No, no clown books, sorry. No, no cloning! You know, using also, your own genetic material to make a new human. I have a book on clowning. Oh, you mean fucking. Yes, I've got plenty of books about fucking. That too. What? No! No, not fucking! Cloning! It's how you make new humans without sex. Jesus. Why would anyone want to do that? <laughs> that's also not what, how... It's not... That's not a good definition of what cloning is. Because you can make new humans without sex uh, and not include cloning because of the in vitro fertilization and uh, and, and, and yeah uh, hi hey, uh, do you 
A tall, I don't know what was up with his, uh, the activation of his line. A tall, lanky man is looking over the books on a merchant's stand, muttering nervously to himself and to the merchant. Uh, hi, mind if we ask you some questions? Um, I guess. Wh who are you? We're, um, the Desert Rangers. We've been helping out around Colorado Springs. Is your name Irv? I, I... I'm Irv. What do you want? Well, we found some... Mm, some papers in your apartment written by Erwin John Finster. Is that your real name? I... Uh... He looks around nervously. Please don't tell the marshals, but I'm one of his clones. Unfortunately, I'm fourth generation, at least. So I'm not as smart as the original. Smart enough to, to use Dr. Finster's notes to get the cloning machine working again, but... But not smart enough to make good quality clones. I can't even make one as good as myself. And I'm not that good. Bits of me don't work very well at all. Nah. Isn't that the case for everybody, though? Um, <laughs> is Finster still alive? The original? No, n not anymore, but... I guess, in a way, as long as I'm alive, he is too, because I'm him, aren't I? No. He pales suddenly and swallows. Er, I mean, I'm him, but not the part of him that wanted to wipe out the entire human race, right? Yeah? I, I wasn't... I wasn't suggesting... No. You know the whole nature versus nurture debate? How some things are genetic and some things you learn? Well, that killing everybody part of him, that was nurture. He, he wasn't born that way, and, 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 uh, and neither am I. I swear. Amazing voice acting, as always. But uh, also, I do know about nature versus nurture. I have learned about it recently. It's completely unrelated, and honestly, to, about things that are not related to people wanting to kill everybody. It's just basically the debate, uh, or it's not a debate, but rather sort of distinction between what part of us, or parts of us, are our nature, as in our innate things and what part of us are learned behaviors and that would be the nurture and this is just a the nature versus nurture thing is a uh, sort of like a an easy to remember expression to you know sort of center a conversation when you're trying to talk about this sort of stuff uh i don't know i, I think it's like a, a relatively recent uh sort of take on, on the issue because obviously we have as humans, we have discussed what is innate to us and what isn't for millennia. It's not, it's not a, a, a new debate, but this take on it is, is I think it's like in, from the 70s. It's a specific scientist that uh, proposed this, and or, either the scientist or a professor or something. Anyway. You believe me, don't you? Well, we were... We believe your story. Um, we were attacked in your apartment by a few guys who looked just like you. Any explanation for that? Oh, no. Did you kill them? Uh, I'm a f uh, sh why should you care? They weren't exactly human, were they? I mean, they, they were, but e exactly human. Like, but I'm not going to say that because I, I don't want to uh, say that. Um, I'm afraid we had to. Sorry. Oh, oh poor clones. They... <laughs> They never really acted right. I, I, I screwed up the formula somehow. Tell us more about these clones. Well, well, I, I guess I'm kind of afraid to make friends the normal way, so I made them an abnormal way. Only I didn't do it very well. When they came out of the chamber, there was something wrong with them. They were really, really stupid and, and really, really crazy. And they just got crazier day by day. If if I hadn't run out of the apartment today, they would have killed me. I'm a bad father. I'm a bad, bad father. What do you know about Dr. Finston? Oh, Dr. Finster was a genius. He's the only person in the world to have mastered the cloning of humans. He... He may have become a little paranoid at the end, but that doesn't lessen any of the good he gave to the world. Until he decided all humans had to die. He was a real humanitarian. Hmm. <laughs> we believe you're not smart enough to threaten the human race. Yeah, the threatening of the human race isn't about smarts, I'm afraid. Um, 
We don't believe you clones can't be trusted. We believe your story. Oh, thank God. So, you're not gonna arrest me. I was actually wondering if we could uh, hire him, maybe, for... Uh, what do we need? People? Barter? What, what else? No, kitchen. Cook. That's the one. We need a cook. Uh, maybe we are... Well, let's see. We're not... In fact, you... Oh, there it is. Uh, if you bring your cloning machine, you're welcome at the ranger headquarters. Yes. If we uh, let you go back to Sans Luke's apartments, will you promise to keep the noise down? <laughs> uh, let's, let's go the first one. We're not. In fact, if you bring your cloning machine, you're welcome at the ranger headquarters. We could use a scientist like you. You're gonna let me be a real scientist? This is the best! Uh, I'm so grateful! I'll do good work for you. I promise. Thank you so much. I wasn't expecting that, honestly. I really wasn't expecting us to to just get another companion from, from that. It's good. It's good. And that means that before we leave to Colorado, uh, uh, outer world, uh, we are going to go back to the headquarters to talk to Irv and see how he's acclimatizing. Yes, I want to go there. I wonder if the machines are gone now. Somebody's coughing. Ooh, look at this big area. Yeah, I wonder if it's a secret passage or something. Yeah, that that's making a lot of noise when I go in through there. Yeah, the machine is gone. See what I mean? Oh, it's this alarm, potentially. We're still stinky. Some of us are. Okay, so, Rosie. Any word on the loony and number three yet, Rangers? We found Irv, and he won't be coming back. You can clear out his room now. About time. Gonna take me a week to clean up that mess. What was his deal, anyway? Hmm. <laughs> well, he's a clone, and he was afraid of being found and arrested, so we hid in his r he hid in his room and made other clones for friends. Oh, that's kind of sad. What did you do with him? We invited him to join us at uh, Ranger HQ. He's going to work in our medical lab. Well, how about that? I'm glad to hear it. Never wished the poor man ill, just didn't want him here. Thank you, Rangers. Here's a little something for taking care of the problem and tying it up in a pretty bow. So long. Oh, my sciatica. Be seeing you, Rosie. <laughs> and the kitty purring all the while. So she gave me, I think she probably gave me money. That, uh, that sounded like money being given to me. Okay, well, let's get out of here. And let's end the episode, because we're out of time for the day. So, for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Wasteland 3. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>